Hey, so I just woke up and my hair's still a little bit of a mess, but I'm about to take off for my road trip. And so I just wanted to give you guys a little update of some of the things that I'm bringing with me to stay environmentally friendly as well as keep up the vegetarian diet I'm on. I've been vegetarian for like four months, five months now, and I haven't ever had a problem. So we're gonna see how well I can do on the road. I'm gonna bring my own peanut butter and jelly and I'm gonna go stop and get bread and I'm just gonna eat those whenever I get hungry, peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. I'm bringing my own lunchbox and I made my own ice so I don't have to go buy ice which will keep the cost low as well as I don't need that plastic bag that they give me. And I'm gonna show you some of the other things I'm bringing with me. So this is a bento box that I had gotten when I went to Costa Rica for school. It's a little dirty right now, so I'm gonna wash it. And it's got three layers. And it's really nice, it's metal, so it, it keeps things cold. And I'm bringing that. As well as I went to Bell's the other day and I found this bento box. It's made of bamboo, it's also dirty. I love it because I can put sandwiches in it, um, bigger sandwiches and stuff like that. And then I'm also bringing my own napkins. I got these through school as well when I went to Costa Rica. And they also gave me this wonderful bamboo utensil kit that I lost the spoon to, but it's nice. It has a knife and a fork, and that was from my school. And then I also had gotten this before I even became like environmentally conscious. And I brought this to me with me to Costa Rica. And it's a fork and a spoon on the same thing, so it saves a lot of space. It came in this cute little pouch. I have my own soap that I brought with me, Dr. Bronner's. And then this is also my favorite water bottle. Um, I accidentally broke it at work one day. Don't mind my best back there. I'm packing. But it's a glass water bottle and it's got the silicone on it. And if you know me at all, I drop things all the time. And I dropped this about five times on concrete and it literally saved, the silicone works so well. I don't know how to pronounce what the brand is, but it's BKR. And I got this in a FabFitFun box, um, which actually they send me a lot of sustainable stuff. So yeah, that's some of the stuff I'm bringing with me um, on my trip. You'll see more later. Bye. Savannah and I've been driving since 10 o'clock this morning it's now 3 o'clock so I'm pretty tired so I stopped at the first place and got some cold brew and as you can tell I drank all of it it was six dollars which was insane they wouldn't put in a paper cup for me I gave them the straw bracket because I had my own I got a lavender frozen cold brew and it just seemed like everything I've ever had in my life so kind of disappointed in that but now I'm just sitting at park bench I'm trying to walk around I came here when I was 18 with my dad and his girlfriend and her two daughters and it's funny because uh, the place I parked was exactly where we walked and stuff so I thought that was kind of cool so now I'm just walking around and looking at everything and I will insert some videos of uh, Savannah and yeah I'll update you guys when I get to Myrtle Beach Savannah Recycles. Ew. My god, I freaking love these things. Look at it, it's so cool. So I made it to Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. I'm currently in Myrtle's Inlet waiting for my cousin to get done with a birthday party she went to and I am just hanging out. And I was walking and I saw a guy painting and I'm on the same pier uh, 
Six years ago, I came here with my aunt and I bought a necklace that I wore to my homecoming senior year. So this place kind of brings back a lot of memories and I saw a guy painting and I like to collect art. So I bought one of his pieces that he actually custom made for me. My favorite fish is dolphin fish, mahi mahi, Coryphenae hippurus is its scientific name. So I had him paint me one of those on my favorite color, blue, and it's really cool to watch. So I'm going to put that uh, time lapse right here. And now I will show it to you. Pew. Look at that beautiful thing. It's so pretty. I love it. This is Merle's Inlet. My cousin works on that boat right there. So this is what my cousin is on. She's on this party boat. And it's 100% green, which is like amazing. So like if you're ever in South Carolina, want to get a drink with your friends, definitely go on this. Those blue lights are my cousin's party boat. It's a pedal boat, so they are still not even close to me.
I'm bringing my own um, Lunchbox, that's the word I was looking for.